Earlier last year, I went for a little ride on my big bike with Hank, and you all blew me away with your responses in the comments. Whilst I haven't yet visited a kiddie seat to El Alto, the 36-inch wheel bike we built for a film on GCM Plus, which is still available to watch now if you want to find out a little bit more. What I have decided to do is enter a race, put my money where my mouth is, because here, I actually think we have a chance of victory. I'm regretting that double Snickers I had now. Thank God. The race I've decided to enter, I believe, suits El Alto's strengths down to the ground. I've put myself forward for Battle on the Beach. As the name suggests, it's a race on the beach here in South Wales. 45 kilometres long in total, spread over three laps, containing five kilometres of long, sandy, open beach, then five kilometres of single track and five kilometres of forest road. After delving into the science of super large 36 inch wheels throughout the film on GCM Plus, one of the potential benefits to emerge was the fact that large wheels roll over the rough stuff way better. And with loads of bumpy ground to cover today, El Alto could prove to be in its element. You see, with Battle on the Beach, no one really knows what the perfect bike is to conquer this race. So I'm going to be up against people on cross bikes, mountain bikes, fat bikes, you name it. So today, potentially, I've brought the steed that may carry me to victory. What do you reckon, El Alto? Okay, yeah, I know. I know that could be wishful thinking given my previous performances on GCN. Haven't got the best track record, but come on, El Alto, we can do this. We've got this. We're two tall, tall kindred spirits in the world. Maybe pigs can fly. Elephants? Yeah, sorry, sorry, yeah, giraffes. Sorry, sorry, yeah, giraffes can fly. Giraffes can fly, El Alto. Come on, mate, we better warm up. Right then, I'm all set. Need to start getting to the start line now. I'm gridded, so I'm starting in the top 200 riders. Um, I'm getting nervous. I've got a few butterflies. It's been a bit of a while since I've done a race, actually. This is my first, I think, my first real race for GCN. Um, El Alto has been getting a few looks, a few suspicious looks, and a few uh, kind of wondrous looks, of course, because beautiful, beautiful 36 inch wheel, massive bike. Between me and you, my tactic. I want to be at the front of this race at least once. If I do that, I'll be happy. So I'm just going all out from the start. I'm just letting El Alto loose. I'm going to sprint the first 5K. I don't know what's going to happen after that. That's my plan. I just want to get my nose out in front. And then we'll see what happens. All right, wish me luck. 10 minutes until the off. Getting a bit of a last warm up in. El Alto is feeling fast today. I'm so excited to get racing, this is going to be mega. Everyone signed to congregate at the start, so I'm going to be just at the front there. There's over a thousand people in this race, a really big mass participation event. And everyone is heading off together right down the beach, 5k to begin with. So open, the tide's been going out as we've been slowly filming here. It's going to be like the charge of the light brigade down this beach. Ha <laughs> ha! Race time! Hey, we're in the front group. Alta <sighs> <sighs> hasn't actually struggled with it so far. We've got some good speed. Oh. <sighs> oh, goodness. This is a bit of a descent now. Whoa! 
Oh. <laughs> oh, it was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. I was suffering so badly on the first lap. I kind of, a uh, big crash to start with and then um, kind of set something off in me. I was like, right, time to run with the wolves here. <laughs> and I got a bit Good run. <laughs> oh, thank you, yeah. Oh, thanks. That was crazy, eh? Oh, well. Oh. I got a bit carried away on the first lap and I, I paid for it dearly. I need to sit down for a second and I just need to process it. <laughs> the start was, um, I, I lost a bit of ground getting off the line actually and I was making up places. I just tried to go as hard as I could and I realised I was stuck on the left in the wind. Um, and, but it was quite hard to navigate through to the right and get some shelter because El Alto is just so big that I just wasn't quite used to the spacing of the wheel to the rider in front of me. Um, so I was a little bit nervous, of course, in a crash. And there was a big crash as well. So that got me, kind of got my back up a little bit. I was a bit, but I did eventually make it to the right and it was so much more sheltered and El Alto just excelled there. Um, just wasn't held back by the kind of, <sighs> let's face it, El Alto isn't the best in a headwind. It's quite unaerodynamic. So once I had that shelter, I was able to get to the front, managed to recover a little bit. And then I was like, right, this is my moment. This is this is it. This is El Alto. You got to do this. You got to attack. It's for, it's for all the tall people out there in the world. I got so excited. I was like, right, game time. Let's do it. I attacked. I got to the front for like five seconds. I was like, we're actually doing it, El Alto. We're actually we're going to win. And then I realised um, I haven't done much training. My legs started to hurt quite a lot and I thought I was going to throw up. I had a, a double Snickers before the start and it, um, yeah. And from then on, I, I did actually need a bit of time to recover. I had to sit back and we turned right off the sand and that was when it was just like absolute chaos. But for that moment, we were, we were winning. Disadvantages, there were a couple. I think it was um, when I had to dismount. So when it was really kind of technical and we're really jostling for position with other riders and you had to run at certain parts of the course, every time I had to get off, it was just, it was like getting off a really big horse, like a, a big horse, you know? Um, and that just cost me time. And it was like, not just getting off, it was riders around you. And I had to kind of clear the area a bit just because El Alto would topple, and then I'd have to kind of get my step ladder out and get off. It was, it was like pushing a steamroller up the climbs. I could work on my running, admittedly. Getting back on, it was like doing the high jump at school sports day. <laughs> on the donkey! Oh, horse, sorry, big horse. But yeah, once you got rolling, it didn't actually struggle on the single track. We were able to handle it. There was a few little technical bits, and it was really excelling in the sand as well, and there was some sandy descents, and I didn't feel kind of like compromised. <laughs> What was the best part of the course? Best part of the course, El Alto's number one advantage in this race was coming from the tarmac onto the really soft sand. It was actually, I think, the best bike in the whole race. Honestly, the best bike in the whole race. You could just get your speed up and it just, it just went over the soft sand. That rolling resistance and those big wheels, as we discovered on the GCM Plus film, that was the advantage. It just rolled straight over the sand. It was like you barely noticed it. You just had to kind of keep pedaling, keep your hands on the bars, and everyone else around me had to get off at those moments and run. So I was able to pull out like 30, 40 seconds just from being able to ride over the sand. So yeah, we're good at riding soft sand at Altois. I was just a pilot. It was, um, it was an experience to say the least. We came 113, so not too, uh, not, too, uh, not too shabby, I don't think. I'm really proud of that. I had so much fun, definitely racing my Alto again. Thanks Baton and Leach for having us. Let us know in the comments what you thought of El Alto's performance and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching everyone. Oh, right, let's get you a, uh, a drink, something, uh, something tasty for yourself. <laughs>